Hey guys, Fred here, the E3FL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. It is uh, first day of September, September 1st, 2022. And uh, just wanted to uh, go over here uh, a thing or two here about the uh, G106, uh, the Shigu uh, G106. I know there's some reviews out there now on it. Um, I've still been playing with it a little bit. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to, to sit with it. Uh, but there's a couple things um, about it. Um, you know, its size is, uh, it's fairly decent, but it is heavy. Um, for a radio of its size, it's extremely heavy. Um, I have in it to version one of the firmware, uh, which is dated July 5th, 2022. And of course it states what time I put it in. Um, but I was just doing a little bit of listening here on CW. I'm running the uh, Chameleon Micro with the uh, wire that came with it. Uh, nothing fancy. It's only up about 10 feet off the ground or so. And uh, it favors <coughs> east and west um, propagation paths right now. Um, so again, it's it's an inferior antenna uh, compared to what I, I could have up or even a dipole or my buddy pole or, or anything like that. But I just want to show you guys something here. Uh, right now, okay, I've got an S3 noise level here, and that's that's normal here uh, for my area. That's at the preamp off. All right, there's at the preamp on. Of course, it goes to S4, S5. You can hear the noise floor pick up quite a bit. But I'm gonna turn the preamp off. Now, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to copy this again, but I'm gonna turn the radio itself off. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. We're going to turn the radio back on. Okay. The preamp is not on. All right. The preamp's not on, but now I've got an S6 to an S7 noise level on the same frequency. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the preamp on. Okay. So I turned it on and... I don't know if that's just fluke or if it actually just dropped down to an S4 again. But now I'm gonna turn it off, okay? And that's how it sounds when I have the preamp off. It's an S3. Again, that's where it should be at when I turn the radio on. So just gonna try this one more time. Okay, turn the radio off, preamp's off. And turn the radio back on. Okay, it sounds as if the preamp is on. That's exactly what it sounds like right now. Doesn't matter if I change bands. So we're gonna turn the preamp on, you'll see the P come up. And the noise level did drop. So it went to the four or five from when I turned the radio on. I'm gonna turn the preamp off and it drops back down. So I did let Jet know about this. I, I, I sent some videos to him. I did let him know there's an issue with it when it starts up. I don't know if Mike, uh, Cade, MRD, uh, or any of the other guys experienced that on their uh, G106s. I'm not 100% sure, but if you guys did, uh, Mike and, and everyone else who's played at the radio, can you leave a, a note in the comment section for me? You just let me know that you've experienced the same thing, or maybe you've already put the radio away. Mike, I know you got two of them, so uh, maybe check them out, just see if it does the same thing. So anyway, just a, a quick, uh, let's see if there's anybody on here. There were a few signals on. Someone was asking if the frequency was busy. Oh. Nice strong signal. CQDX. CQDX anyway. So that's KN2. C Z Z. So K N two Charlie Zulu Zulu calling CQ. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Fred, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. Have a great day and stay safe.